right now we're making steady progress through the repair. We've completed the first phase of the repair, which required us to use a vertical welding tool to apply the weld buildup. This is a full replica of the challenge that the welder faces in the vessel. It has the topography, the regions that have been thinned through corrosion on the backside. And the welder, of course, can't see that through the vessel wall. And so by precision positioning of the welding tool, we're adding several millimeters of additional aluminum thickness at the regions that require this repair to provide both additional structural strength to the vessel wall and sufficient corrosion allowance so the vessel lifetime can be extended to meet all of our future obligations. We've examined all of the welds with all of the non-destructive examination and, and the visual inspection techniques and the results are excellent. So we're quite pleased with the results going forward. What we see here on top of the reactor today is the cleaning tools and the weld tool that will be used to execute the second phase of the repair and this is our horizontal weld buildup process. And there are three areas that will be repaired by this horizontal welding process. The vessel is circular, about 12 feet in diameter, so all of the surfaces that need to be repaired are indeed curved. And there's a lot of precision required to make the weld torch travel along the necessary path on the surface of the vessel in order to produce a good weld. One of the big advantages of the horizontal welding tool that we're using is it has already built in the capability to follow the curvature of the vessel as we apply horizontal welds. And that's one of the reasons we're going to that tool for this second phase of the repairs. We have to do a detailed stress analysis of the vessel as it receives the weld. And it takes about 20 hours of computer simulation for each of these repair sites to predict the residual stresses and the plastic deformation that takes place when the weld is applied. Then we do a whole series of measurements after each weld and so we predict the stresses and we predict the shape change of the vessel wall in response to the welding and then we go back and measure it afterwards. So we use three different non-destructive examination techniques to verify the quality of the weld and to assure ourselves that there are no defects produced in the vessel through the weld buildup process. So planning is paramount. We have to have all of the detailed plans worked out well in advance so that we can take full advantage of doing work in parallel. So as we're repairing the vessel here, we're also bringing forward some of the return to service activities. We're already starting to execute some work inside the vessel uh, in regions where we've completed the repair. So already we're in transition from the repair activities into the return to service activities. We're making steady progress, but it's not as fast as we'd originally anticipated. We've encountered a number of challenges along the way, which we're overcoming. Of course, we're schedule driven. We have to finish this outage as soon as we can, but saying that, we also have to be driven by safety by conservative decision making and by doing all of the necessary analysis before we execute any of the repairs.